art is one difference, but look. Tell me if you guys notice something. If you see what's happening here. Oh! We got a gimbal. We didn't buy it. Art has graciously lent us his gimbal. So our footage should be super smooth, which is funny because last live stream, someone commented, dude, get a gimbal. Your live streams are so shaky. <laughs> so to use two hands. I got two hands on it like I'm holding a, like I'm holding a, a candle in church. Super nice. Now, if I want to switch the camera, I will press this button. Oh my gosh, we're live streaming now, guys. Check it out. Check it out. What's up, everybody? First things first, as we always do, let us know where you're watching from because we'd love to know what's up, Steve and Ivana. Boa tarde. Did I say that right? Boa tarde. G. Oh, yeah, G on the end, of course. So, in today's live stream, we will be walking along the waterfront here. We are in a safe area. Obviously, we got the cell phone and the gimbal. New addition to the team. Big shout out to Art from Gringo Nation. Kisses and love. And uh, I think in the end, we'll probably go to some sort of boteco and have some sort of cerveja. Everyone's saying hello, HDV Aki. Ooh, shout out to Ken Abroad. If you guys don't know Ken Abroad, this is one of our friends. Uh, after this live stream, make sure to go to Ken Abroad's channel. He's in Sri Lanka now. Uh, really nice vlogger. German guy. Nice guy. My friend. You can join the uh, team abroad, as he calls it. So let's go back this way. We do have a small beach here. There you go, I love it. Uh, Praia da Urca. Uh, not the cleanest beach ever. Not really known for swimming, although we do have some swimmers. Uh, how many beaches are in Rio? Do you know, buddy? A lot, a lot of beaches in it Rio. Depends if you're considering the state or the city. Or the uh, of course. Region. So, we've got a little nice walkway here with some tree coverage. Beautiful shoreline. Should be a great. Got the Christ up there. Got the Christ the Redeemer. Oh, this is going to be very small, but in real life, it's quite big. If you see way over here, this is Christ the Redeemer. So, Ken Abroad says, "Where in Rio are you?" We are staying at a place uh, known as Copacabana, which I think is pretty world famous. Copa. Copa at the Copa. Copa. Da, 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 da. Although, uh, I will admit that I thought Copacabana was in Cuba. <laughs> My whole life, until I got to Rio. Wow. Ivana says we're staying at Copacabana. I said, we're going to Cuba? <laughs> so anyway, we are staying at Copacabana. There's a beach nearby called Ipanema which is really popular, and there's a bunch more uh, beaches around. Someone suggests we should get a Flamengo jersey. I will say this, guys. Stay tuned for our video on Tuesday. We've got a really exciting video Tuesday, to be honest. We've got uh, a tour. We went on a tour all through a favela known as Rocinha in Portuguese, Rocinha. Rocinha. Favela. This is one of the biggest in Rio. I think it is the biggest in Rio and one of the biggest in all of South America. So, um, Ivana did buy uh, a Flamengo jersey. My heart was broken. Our hearts. Our hearts were broken. Obviously, you guys know Art got me into Palmeiras. Ivana is... Hey, Palmeiras is still my Sao Paulo team. Right. Okay. okay, so you've got a Sao Paulo team and a Rio team. This is manageable. Uh, super nice here and big shout out to Art for this stabilizer because the footage is much better. So yes, Ivana is officially a Flamengo fan. We're going to go to a game. We are looking to go to a game. Uh, nice view here. So I'm staying over there. So Art's staying over here somewhere. Botafogo Beach. Botafogo. Below the cracks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, question from Ayrton as as a Vedo, a member, shout out to all of our members. How do you compare compare Floripa to Rio? Actually, you know what? Ivana had a good comparison. Ivana said there was Sao Paulo and then there was Floripa. Uh, Sao Paulo, big city, Floripa, beach vibes. Rio seems to be a combination of Sao Paulo and Floripa. This was your breakdown. Yes. If you combined Floripa, really laid back beach vibes, mm -hmm. with Sao Paulo, which city is big life. city, hustle, hustle and bustle, mm -hmm. uh, you get Rio. It's got beach vibes and it's also got a huge city. Yeah. So obviously we've only been here three or four days. We're still waiting to make our first uh, 
impressions video once we gather some more ideas. But this is one of Ivana's very good ideas. Shout out to the lovely Ivana <laughs> for the idea that uh, if you combine Floripa and Sao Paulo, you get Rio de Janeiro. Now, obviously, guys, this looks pretty beautiful over here, but you've got to be aware that uh, this is nothing when in Rio. It's sort of everywhere you look, beauty. So yeah. this is pretty spectacular, this but I think we can get even more. This is just the appetizer. This is the appetizer. The main course will be coming soon. Uh, unfortunately, we have not bought a new drone, and the bad news is drones are very expensive here. <laughs> yeah. And we could not recover. We're still waiting for someone to retrieve it from that palm tree. If someone can retrieve it, that would be really special, but I doubt it. Yeah. What a fail. I gotta, I gotta talk to the camera. I take full responsibility for crashing that drone. That was an absolutely moronic move on my part. I wasn't even looking for trees because there's no trees in that area. There's literally one tree and I drove right into it. The problem with the drone is if you do 10 flights, okay, and you do nine of them safety, the one that's not safety, you lose the drone forever. You need 100% safety with the drone. 90% is not good enough. So the tree is in Florianopolis. It's in uh, Santo Antonio de Lisboa. It's near the church. It's literally the only tall tree around. You'd be amazed. There's nothing above the rooftops except for one tree. And I flew it right into the one tree. It's absolutely moronic. I will say uh, Forza Rapid. We've got some Romanians in the chat saying Forza Rapid, which to be honest is my first love in football. Although let's hijack the live stream. And let's talk about Team Canada, who is going to, with 98% certainty, qualify for World Cup. Second time in Canada's history and first time in 40 years. Yes, we are going to qualify for World Cup in the CONCACAF, which is Central and Northern America. We are number one seed right now. Nine games and we've won five, lost four, uh, tied four, no losses. We are killing it. See you in Qatar. See you in Qatar. <laughs> so Ivana and I are trying to figure out what we should do for World Cup because Canada is going to play. The problem is this year they're playing in November. Yeah. So normally if it was in July or August, we would go to Toronto and we would show some wicked World Cup vlogs, the most multicultural city in the world. But in November, it might be kind of cold and sucky. But anyway, shout out to Canada. We are going to qualify unless we lose like the next five in a row, which seems really <laughs> unlikely. We beat Mexico 2-1. We never beat Mexico. We beat Panama. We never beat Panama. Uh, we tied United States. We tied Costa Rica. Our team is on fire this year. Our team is absolutely on fire. We are literally the number one seed. And the top three will make World Cup. Probably been investing. Yeah, and we got a couple of really good players. We got one guy who is on uh, Real Madrid. His name is, his name is uh, Anthony Davies. That might not be his name. But he's like 20 years old and he's a superstar. Uh, no, he's a, he's a place up front. Um, but he's a superstar. He's on one of the best teams in Spain and he, uh, he's like 20. Anyway, go Canada, go. I'm sure nobody of my friends are even talking about it. They're all talking about hockey. I don't even know. I bet you most Canadians don't even know we're going to make World Cup right now. Really? But, uh, Alfonso Davies. Yes, Bayern Munich. So I, I, was, I had the wrong name and I had the wrong country and I had the wrong team. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to me for having wrong country, wrong team. But Bayern Munich won this year, and he was a, a, instrumental in their victory, and he's like 20 years old. Awesome. Alfonso Davies. What did I say? Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> Anthony. 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 Not too far. There we go. So go Canada, go. But uh, guys, one more thing is um, please, uh, please stay tuned for our vlog on Tuesday. Yvonne and I have a pretty good vlog on Tuesday, we think. We took a tour of the largest favela in Rio with some new friends. I think uh, we got so lucky to meet our two new friends, Guilherme. Two Guilhermes, actually. Same name, two different guys. Uh, they took us around the favela. And look at the view behind me. Super nice, right? Super nice. And this is like just the appetizer. So the question is, will Ivana and I buy another drone? The answer is maybe. Oh, here's an idea. Uh, we should get a hashtag. Hash, hashtag Florianopolis help Steve. Get the, <laughs> get the drone from the tree. Uh, yeah, if you guys can find it, find someone to help us out, that would be great. Although, at this point, it's totally my fault. Uh, we got a comment from a member here. Ayrton again. Shout out to Ayrton. Peace and love to Ayrton. Uh, Foggy Rio is not Rio. 
<laughs> don't forget that the whole vibe will change okay so we have two weeks booked um probably going to extend again because we want to experience the best rio yeah, has actually, offer there are lots of things to do here rumor so. has it jet lag warriors brought rain to, to rio oh, no. uh, rumor has <laughs> it <laughs> the jet lag warriors <laughs> brought rain to rio oh <laughs> uh, we're gonna get thrown out of rio <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Although we bought the sunshine to Floripa, so we bought the sunshine to Floripa and we bought the rain to Rio. Well, there you have it. Uh, people are suggesting to buy our drone in Paraguay. Maybe we'll do a trip to Paraguay because Wait, it's. I feel embarrassed being in Rio with no drone. This is a drone. Is someone from Canada coming to Rio soon? Because bring us a drone. Bring us a drone. Maybe we can ask for to uh, borrow a drone. I think the story of Brazil is the story of the friends we've made. First of all, how smooth is this live stream? All thanks to Art from Gringo Nation. You guys know him. Uh, the video on Tuesday, all thanks to Guy Lerme times yeah. two. Uh, really great. Gustavo, Felipe, a bunch of Anibo, uh, Andres, a bunch of friends. So where are we planning to visit in Rio? This is a good question from Tucano. Uh, definitely everywhere. We'll definitely go to Christ okay. the Redeemer. That's a must. Yeah. We'll definitely do some food vlogs. They've got this culture of hot dogs in Rio which is a very north uh, I think all United States Brazil. created the hot dog all over, yeah. so all over Brazil has a hot dog but in Rio they have a special Rio style I suppose um, uh, and we obviously will be taking your recommendations of where we might mm -hmm. have the best time in Rio more than willing to freestyle and yeah do, do the tourist spots but also do some hidden gems as it were and just as you guys blame the weather on me, the sun comes out. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit raining. <laughs> Buzios. What is that? Buzios. Buzios is the lake, kind of in the lake region that I was talking about. Ah, yeah. okay. Uh, Albuquerque, Cabo Frio. Ah. Buzios. This is more like a fancy-ass kind of place, but... Okay. Really okay. Okay, Lucas K says Buzios. We will try our best. Oh, super nice, super nice comment here, Ivan. Read this. You deserve good friends. You deserve the good friends you found here. You're both super friendly people as well. Oh, thanks, Maria. Oh, thanks, Maria. This has been uh, a trip of gratitude. <laughs> After three years of traveling and starting to earn money on YouTube, we feel very grateful that uh, this is even possible. So the historic it's easy to be building. friendly because we feel grateful. Buzios is a must-go place. My favorite in Brazil. Okay, we will check out Buzios as well as Arayal de Cabo. You have news? I do, yeah. You want to share on the live stream or you want to share on your own? Okay, okay. News update. Uh, oops, sorry. Update from Art. Is it? Okay, okay. Let's have a guess. Let's have a hint and guessing game. Is okay. it in Brazil? It's in Brazil. It's in Brazil. Is it in Rio State? It's in Rio State. Ooh. I don't know any places in Rio State. <laughs> <laughs> It's more, um, it's kind of going back to Sao Paulo. So, Buzios, for example, is going north. Okay. And Parachi, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Parachi! Oh, Parachi the is, big uh, reveal. Yeah, it's like a historic colonial town with beaches as well. It's really nice. Is this spelled P-A-R-A-T-Y? It sure is, yeah. Okay, there that was is, the yeah. highly recommended oh, yeah. one. There you go. Parachi, yeah. Parachi, Parachi. Do you guys want to go? <laughs> when, when are you going? I'm going uh, on the 4th, which is on Wednesday. I'm going to stay in there for four days, though, and then I'm going to Ubatuba, which is on the... Ubatuba? Yeah. Which, by the way, yeah. shout out to Ubatuba for the greatest name in location history. Pretty good, huh? Ubatuba. Well, just next to Ubatuba, you have Caraguatatuba, which is even better. Caraguatatuba. 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 <laughs> Super nice place names. Yeah. Nice. That would be nice. Yeah. Parati. Okay, so oh, what we can say about our places we're going is we will do Buzio because you guys recommended it we will do Parachi potentially with art obviously if our schedules align on that one and everyone is suggesting Arayal do Cabal yeah which is close to Buzio you can do close to Buzio Buzios, Ahayal and Cabo Frio Buzios, Ahayal and Cabo Frio nice yeah you can do that in like 10 days or three so I don't know if we're going to be meeting in Parachi oh that's why it's such a cool name because uh, it's native yeah, exactly. A lot of the natives, same as Canada, they have really yeah. cool sounding names and then we adopted them into a English accent and it sounds like Uba Tuba. Sounds so cool. Yeah, the, the, the is okay. Tupi Guarani. Fantastic. Okay, let's keep walking down our little strip here. We can bring you guys along. 
Uh, I will say the comments coming in are super helpful, guys. So if you have an idea of where we might like to go, we will probably listen. And I will say this. Uh, some of you guys, I think, reached out to Rio for fun, who is Guilherme, and told him about us, and it was really helpful. Because when we reached out to him, he had already heard of it, and he said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had heard of us, sorry, and so we met up with him, and it was so great. I really think the vlog coming out on Tuesday will be a nice vlog. Oh, someone's fishing. We've got a bunch of local interactions with, uh, with people in the favela and kind of showing their life. It's really, really great. We've got another member comment here, probably Ayrton again. Let me scroll up. A nice place to go when it's rainy is Park Laji. Yeah, I do you guys to go there? Okay. Park Laji. Park Laji. Hola. It's okay, if, it's okay, uh, YouTube. <laughs> beer. <laughs> they have beer? Oh, okay, okay. Hola. Valeo. Super nice guy. Guys, I was gonna say, I'd love to sit and have a beer, but then it was maybe a bit, uh, bit much. Climb no, down no, there and... No, when they say like, just kind of do you want some, it's like polite in Brazil to be like... Oh, oh, so it was more like a figure of speech, like, hey, some yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was thinking, you're offering me beer? Yeah. <laughs> That's not Sounds good. Can, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Super nice guys fishing on the rocks there. Yeah, they both, I think we have a lot of like oysters in this part too. Oh, oysters. Oh, okay. See, so you can see on the rocks kind of like the... the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the flip-flops. <laughs> they're listening to Funky. Was that Funky they're listening to? No, it's uh, well, it's like a mix of like Sipanesu with Funky, which is Sipanesu with that country. Ah, uh, like country yeah. funk. Or like... You know, they have this one called Sipanejo University. It's like University Sipanejo, which is like uh, a project right now. <laughs> <laughs> some weird mixtures in Brazil. Uh, anyway, super nice guys. Hanging out, uh, cooler full of beer, maybe catching some dinner. They're, they might be they might be drinking lunch and, and catching dinner at the same time. Yeah. Well, I think they're having liquid bread for lunch. Liquid bread, yeah, exactly. <laughs> liquid bread. Yeah, the, the bridge there. Yeah, super nice uh, shoreline here. Everybody walking around. And uh, Art was saying this is sort of like a military protected area. It's quite safe. So obviously we got the uh, camera going, the phone I should say, as well as Art's gimbal, which shout out to that. Look how smooth it is. Ooh. <laughs> And so uh, we're feeling safe. You have a lot of like colonial style architecture still in this region. Oh yeah, super nice houses that are colonial style. It's houses, right? Yeah. Because of their, yeah, quite expensive I would imagine, as well as uh, quite nice with a wooden frame windows and the little balcony and quite nice houses. There's been quite a bit of contrast we've noticed in uh, in Rio. So for instance, we were just in the largest favela in Rio, Rocinha, and uh, right at the foot of the hill is like a really luxury area with like a really yeah, big kind of English school. And so it's sort of... On the hill. Yeah, and so the favelas in Rio are up the hills. So on the shoreline you have more high rises and stuff, and then in the distance up the hill you can see the... Uh, more simple housing that a lot of is them that, are like not even. Is that the sugar milk mountain? Uh, yeah, in the back? Yeah, yeah, just a little tip. Oh, shout out to Kathleen who's in the chat. Lawyer, loyal follower from Romania. Kathleen Sabu. Hi, Kathleen. Uh, Pedra da Givia e Pedra do Telegrafio. Yeah, Pedra da Gavia. The Gavia? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I went past here. There. Yeah. Lots of good places to visit in Rio. So in classic Brazil style, we will uh, book for two weeks and stay for one month. Oh, this is Sugarloaf with the cable car. So up here is called Sugarloaf. So you can hike to the middle area, which is what I did. And then you can catch cable car up to Sugarloaf, uh, or you can catch it from where we are, like this uh, level. Yeah. All the way up. So if you see on top of that way up here, guys, 
over here. This is a cable car, and we can go up there. Maybe we'll do that for one video. It looks like a good place. I am still, I am still mourning the loss of the drone. We got to figure out if we're gonna buy a new drone. The thing about Rio too is there's so much good footage online you can download. That's like really nice drone footage. So maybe we'll just use stock footage for Rio. Uh, lots of options, but unfortunately, drones are quite expensive in Rio, and we are not. Uh, not rich. Yvonne is saying, look at the bridge, which has got to be. It. That's a long bridge, no? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's the whole horizon here is the bridge. It's very small on the phone. Can you zoom on live stream? No, you can't, right? Well, you can zoom on live stream. Whoa, I'm zooming on live stream. <laughs> Holy jumping. We never knew. Uh, look at this bridge over here. It goes to Niteroi, which is like another city in the state. Niteroi. It's got to be a couple kilometers, that bridge. Oh, no, I can't zoom out now. Yeah, I can. Phew. I thought I broke the live stream. Super nice, right? Uh, this is a nice, relaxing Sunday. It seems like every Sunday. Maybe you can zoom in. Oh, let's zoom in on... There he is. There. There's a nice shot. Look at this. Ooh. Actually, not possible without the stabilizer. It would just be shaking like crazy. Sunset is beautiful here, Sunset. Because we haven't had a drink today yet. <laughs> Shout out to Samuel who says this is my favorite neighborhood in Rio. Wow, really? Yeah, it's super quiet here on Sundays. It seems like it's a Sunday ritual to hang out with art and do a live stream. <laughs> That's true. I think we did two in Sao Paulo. Did we? Well, we did the Paulista one and I think just... Oh, one live stream and one Paulista Avenue video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, oh, then, yeah, yeah. and then now again, the best. Yeah, we're here quite early, so it'll still get really busy. Right? Yeah. Even with the rain, there'll still be a lot of people. Stay in Rio, Estivi. You will love it to death. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. Stevie. We're definitely doing our best to keep Karyoka safe. Karaoke means that you're from Rio. Rio. So there's like a Karaoke accent, mm. Polistano accent. Okay, you're a Polistano. I'm a Polistano. Yeah. Polistano. I know there is some kind of rivalry there is a between Polistano and Karaoke. 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 How about, uh, about uh, Petropolis? Petropolis. 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 No? A lot of people. That's a historical city. Never been there. Never been there. I've never been to Parachi, that's why I'm going. Mm. That would be nice. They're saying if you can afford it, you should spend your next two weeks in Ipanema. Same like Copacabana, maybe. It's neighboring. Yeah, it, it probably is a little more chill than Copacabana. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can go to Praia do Leme, which is the extension of Ipanema, mm. which is like even more chill. Right. Yo, this stabilizer is awesome, dude. <laughs> I feel like I should have gotten some condition from DJI. From DJI. Maybe instead of a drone, we'll buy a stabilizer. Look at this footage. The best. And just you can just try to extend it once to see like extend it all the way out. All the way, all the way. It goes like so long. That far more. Yeah, that's as far as it goes, right? Yeah. And then you, you know. And then you, then I go down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, check it out guys. Watch this, watch this. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> ah! Seventy five year old man with technology. Oh look at the footage, so smooth like this. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, shout out to Rio. Look at this, man. We're killing the game right now. We're killing the game right now. How's that Mick Jagger quote? What's that Mick Jagger? Because, Ivana, I'm doing a lot of things right now. Yo, this stabilizer is awesome. I'm going to buy one of these. Put the tripod thing on the bottom, too. Let's sit it there. Yo, DJI. Yo, DJI. Sponsor me. Or sponsor Gringo. Uh, shout out to Antonio Costa. This is another new member in the Jet Lag Warriors fam in the neighborhood of Santa Teresa. Would be very that's interesting for you. That's where I want to take you guys. That's where you want to take I us. Like before I leave, go. we should go to Santa Teresa. Go. Boom, go. sold. Santa Teresa video together.
Yo, what a nice day to chill, walk around, use a stabilizer. Antonio Costa says he misses Rio. Honestly, all of Brazil, so great. Absolutely loving it. Yo, I'm making it happen. Oh, guys, that's part of it. Somebody in the chat named Andy Gaspari is spamming the uh, the Albania flag. I did wear this shirt in honor of meeting Art in Albania. One of the most. <laughs> Art says he was gonna wear his Albanian shirt, but he knew I would wear it. Yeah, because he wears it on. Pretty much, I'd say seventy-five percent of the videos. So. No, it's like a flamingo. Uh, Plus, it's, it's, it's flamingo colors, so I'm sort of fitting in. Yeah. Red, white, and black. -na -na -na. Oh, this they do it up and down. Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> We're cooking with gas now, boys. Say, say. Oh, if you ask me a question, and if I want to say yes, I can go like this. Ask me a question, and the answer is yes. <laughs> ask me a question, and the answer is yes. Steve, are you hungry? Am I hungry? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you're talking to me. I thought you were talking to the last <laughs> no, I was just like not asking many questions. <laughs> oh, that's so like, great. Come on, man. Hey, Steve, you want to you wanna leave Brazil? No. Uh-uh. No. I don't want to leave Brazil. No. <laughs> you want a cerveja? Cerveja! Yes, please! <laughs> Yo, this is a fun little tool here. Uh, shout out to Albania. One of the most <laughs> underrated travel destinations you've ever been. Nobody goes to Albania and it's so nice over there. Shout out to HHBSTN, Habib Station, I'm gonna guess. Uh, nice donation, that's gonna buy the first cerveja of the day. Thank you. Okay, so people are saying in Sao Paulo, my team is Parmeiras, but in Rio, it should be Flamengo. So maybe I can have two teams, although I'm a one team kind of guy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with Good job, Steve. I bleed green, boys. I bleed green. Oh, shout out to Con. Uh, let me read this. Here we go. Confiance. Confiance Sindicos Professionals. <laughs> That's going to buy the second cerveja of the day. Right. Thank you. We're up to two cervejas. However many super chats we get, however many cervejas I'll drink. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm going to be sleeping on the streets of Rio. Super nice. Uh, it's a shame that you guys got a cloudy time in Rio. Only happens a couple times a year. Yeah, it's a little bit not ideal the weather today, but for what we're lacking in weather, our sunny disposition is making up for it. Whoa, look at this. Hey. Awesome. Um, yeah, just me is not here. Kathleen Savu, no problem. Antonio Costa, new member, saying, uh, are you going to watch a soccer match in Macarena? Absolutely. <laughs> not Macarena. Macarena is no, the dance. No, not Macarena. Maracana. Maracana. Is that a Brazilian song? No. Oh. I don't know where it's from. Not Macarena, sorry. Mar 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 What's it called? Maracana. <laughs> Maracana. 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 Yes, we are going to watch a, a game in Maracana, and when I'm there, I'll do the Macarena. Yeah. <laughs> and no one will think my joke is funny except for me. Hey, Maracana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I was telling Steve to go to the Fla Flu, which is Flamengo versus Fluminense, yeah. one of the biggest rivalries here. That would be amazing to go to Fla Flu. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a dream come true. Someone want to come? Does anybody want to come with us? It is hard to buy football tickets in Brazil. You need a CPF and have a CPF. If anybody wants to come to us and be our escort for the game, we will buy your ticket. <laughs> Free match for you, although you have to tolerate me vlogging. I feel like you're going to have a lot of takers on that. Which is a little bit obnoxious. <laughs> oh, shout out to... Oh, look at this camera angle. Dude, this tool is amazing. Wow. Oh, oh, losing it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Two more super chats to thank. Um, hey, super nice guy, Paulo Nakayabu, which to me is a Japanese Brazilian, potentially. 
Paulo Nakayabu. Yeah. Uh, he gave us some hey ice and said, you are now this much closer oh, so nice. to your new DJI. You're welcome. Thank oh, you very much, dude. Thank you so we need much. it, man. We really need it. Because the drone shots are some of the best footage we got. And I put it whoosh, right into a tree. Total fail. Thanks a lot, though, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, it will go a long way because uh, those drones are not cheap. Hopefully we can buy a used drone. That would be pretty slick because, uh, oh, Ronnie Cole. Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Cole. Another super chat from Ronnie Cole. I almost missed it actually. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh no, I almost deleted Ronnie Cole off the chat. Sorry, Ronnie, I wanted to read your comment and I almost deleted you off the chat. Oh no, I'm too old for this. Someone find me an 18 year old. Uh, anyway, shout out to Ronnie Cole for his donation. I didn't see what it was, but I absolutely, Oh, and Israel Araujo. Thanks for your videos. I'm a Brazilian living in Korea. Very cool. Wow, Korea. It's fun to show Brazil to my girlfriend through your experiences. Have you been to yeah, Korea? that's really great. Yeah. Hopefully, our experiences in Brazil are reflective of what, you know, a Brazilian would like to see. Because uh, the purpose of our channel is to show what a tourist might expect and sort of show our personal experience being tourists. And so, hopefully, we can show uh, something that you'd like to show your girlfriend. So thanks for watching. Hi, Tap on. Hi, excuse me. Hi. I was looking for transmission. <laughs> I'm Lizzie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I follow your family. Oh, thank channel. you so much. Yeah. Damn. Hi. Ivan is famous. Oh. Yeah. Ivan is famous. Marta. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ivan is famous. Oh, I have the Jupiter. How to say Jupiter? The Portuguese. It's a fair. Oh, super nice lady. She says she watches our videos and she lives here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you for watching. Oh, so nice lady. Oh, super nice lady. <laughs> hey, Mauricio Abreu. Welcome to the Jet Lag Warriors VIP. New member. New member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome! Cue the sirens. Thanks for joining. Uh, we keep our membership. We try to keep it relatively affordable. It's not twenty dollars a month or anything. Uh, and what we'll do with the memberships is we always will talk to you guys, answer your comments, and we'll be more interactive with you guys. Unfortunately, there's just too many comments for us to reply to them all on our videos. Uh, when we started, we replied to every single comment. Um, and so nowadays what we do with our members is we try to get to know you and see what videos you want to see If you have an input of what you'd like to see us do or something We'll take it to heart a little bit more and so thank you for joining our membership program We appreciate it One day we'll have enough members and we'll do members only in the live stream chat But right now we're a little short on members, but thank you very much to Mauricio Abreu really appreciate it Market. Yeah, your your uh, viewer was saying there's a market uh, 200 meters away. Want to go? Up to you guys. Market. Feira Livre da Urca. Would you say yes? Let's go to the market. <laughs> or would you say no? Let's not go to the market. <laughs> okay. Just it's awesome. Ooh, yeah. Savio Rodriguez. Uh, oh, the arena's closed. I think. Oh, Mar Maracana isn't available. Fla oh, flu yeah. will be in Brasilia. Oh huh? shit, that's in the capital. We can go there, no? <laughs> no, it's far, well, I mean. Is it far? fly there. Oh, how yeah. far is it on bus? Uh, too long. Man. Too long. Yeah. Shoot. Darn, yeah, I would love still, to go to Fla Flu because. No, but you can still go to, oh no. Yeah, I you can would, still go to Flamengo again, just not Fla Flu. Uh, Fla Flu is the, is, the, is the big ticket. Because that's the kind of vlog where you go there and the vlog makes itself. All you do is turn the camera on and it's just so <laughs> awesome that you just gotta you know, That's true. just enjoy the vibe and the vlog will be good. Oh, I'd love to go to Flat Flu. Okay, I'm going to take the next five minutes to try and find Ronnie Coe's comment because I ac accidentally almost hit some button and it almost deleted him off the chat. <laughs> then I panicked and I hit X and then it's gone and it's so far up now. It's 19 hours by bus if you want to try. 19 <laughs> hours by bus? I'm going to pass on the bus <laughs> ride and, and say we well, might miss Flat Flu this time. <laughs> That'd be a long one. Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Ronnie Cole, oh, Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Ronnie Cole, Ronnie Cole, Ronnie. Cole. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Sorry to Ronnie Cole. He's a longtime supporter from Malaysia, 
and I and I didn't read his comment. Ronnie Cole, just want to say hi. Everything here looks amazing. Shout out to Ronnie Cole for a nice donation and a nice comment. Uh, yeah, Brazil is an easy place to make content. One, because the people are so friendly. Two, because uh, the mother nature is so beautiful. And three, because uh, there's lots to do. It's a huge place. So for a YouTuber and for a traveler, Brazil is, is top, top of quality. Top of quality. Qualidade. 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 Darn, Savio Rodriguez, Marcana isn't available. Thank you for your donation. Appreciate that. Uh, so far, we're at six beers. We gotta buy. No, I'm kidding. That beer joke is off the table. Um, shout out to Stranger Tachakos who says hi, Steve. Hi to you. Hey, Steve Yaki. Yo, Ivana, we gotta make a serious decision. We wanna buy a drone or do we wanna buy one of these candles, man? <laughs> oh, it's really nice, Ivana. Maybe we'll buy one of these instead. Screaming left handed here. Let's see if we can do it. We got one more super chat. Whoop. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Uh, RF. Hey, walk to Red Beach. Scenic views and the buildings. Scenic views and buildings and usually clean water. Where's Red Beach? Do you know? It's really close here. You can Let's go to Red Beach. Ask and you shall receive. Red Beach it is. Well, uh, yeah, we'll take like 20 minutes walk. Oh, a 20 minutes walk. I think if you want to show something, just go to the market. Yeah. Darn. Okay, so stay tuned for Red Beach for another video. But for this live stream, it's a bit far. Because we are using Arts Gimbal and we're live streaming and 20 minute walk is a bit much. <laughs> With this whole setup here, uh, cell phone and gimbal. Yeah, 20 minutes. 20 minutes is too far. Apologize, but thank you for the live stream. Uh, thank you for Super Chat, and we will try to go to Red Beach in a future video. If it's got nice buildings and nice beaches, we will check it out. Also, big shout out to Antonio Costa uh, for another Super Chat. Loving you guys. We are doing awesome right now. We are loving the vibes. Oh, da da da. Yeah, Antonio Costa. This is nice. I want a picture here. Maybe. Take a picture? But not now. Oh, not now. <laughs> but it looks nice. Na 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 Can I diagonal? Oh, just diagonal too. <laughs> Whoa, I can do a circle. Woo! Who knew it's so easy to keep you occupied, Steve? <laughs> it's actually quite fun. And it really improves the live stream quality. Oh, for sure, yeah. Awesome. Okay, I want to go to the market? Okay, let's move a little bit, go to the market, and maybe maybe buy our first uh, cerveza. Cerveja, 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 cerveja. So let us know, guys. Um, oh, another live stream here. I mean, another um, looking both ways. Another super chat here. Let me go find it. Dun, 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 uh, you need to wear a Palmeiras jersey in a favela and scream Vasco 3 Division. Uh, Vasco 3 Division. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. Sounds like you're setting me up to get punched in the head. <laughs> Although, in a recent video, we just filmed yesterday, that is coming out on Tuesday, we went to Hosinia Favela, and the people I were with, the tour guides I was with, were really trying to, to get me to buy Flamengo jersey, and I could not do it. So, Ivana did completely betray me and buy a Flamengo jersey. Although, uh, I still bleed green, Paul made us, baby. But all, people are saying it's okay to have a Rio team and a Sao Paulo team. So Ivana will do the Rio team and I'll do the Sao Paulo team. I gotta say, look at these little streets in Rio. Like, you think the beaches are fancy. Even the streets are fancy. Look at this. Palmeiras. Palmeiras. See, you know my trees are green? Because they cheer Palmeiras, baby. Yeah. You know Palmeiras is palm trees, right? Palmeiras means palm trees. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. I mean, how could you not? How could I not know that? Oh, just me in the chat. Shout out to just me. Hello, he says. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, loyal subscriber. Good, good commenter. It's just like me. A Western style or European. Ooh, style. this is very uh, European style. I feel like I'm in I don't know Bavaria or Switzerland or something. Well, I guess the foliage is a bit wrong for for the for the. Yeah, I guess Portuguese style actually. Nice, nice looking house, no? With the trees around it? Holy jumping. This is a this is a vlogging clip right here. Hit record. Oh, nice Ooh, look at the Jeep over here. 
Look hey, that. look at that Jeep. Yeah. Oh man, I would buy that truck so bad and I would drive it so slow and I would crank the radio. Look at this guy's truck, so nice. Look at this street corner, nice, right? Yeah. Palmeiras. Palmeiras. So we have art with us today, as you guys can see. This is Gringo Nation. This is a must check out channel. This is a must watch TV. We've got Ivana with us, you guys know her. <laughs> and we got me. And I will say this, this is, this this tool I'm using, this gimbal, Yvonne, we gotta get one, this is fun, man. <laughs> Palmeiras is the best in Brazil, Steve. Absolutely right, Sid. Magazines and newspapers. Magazines and newspapers. Some places uh, in Brazil even have like bread and milk. Bread and milk, oh. right, right, right. This is the mailbox. Uh, it says magazines and newspapers. And if it was even older, they might have a, uh, a milk door for the milkman, which is uh, got to be 50 years ago or more. Steve, when will you get a new drone from Unicorn RS? Uh, good question. We are, we are in the market for a new drone. Uh, the good news is, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is drones are very expensive in Rio. So that's bad news. The good news is there's lots of stock footage we can get from websites online where you can buy footage for cheap and we can put it in our videos. I do prefer to get my own footage because it's a bit of a authenticity thing. Although if you're telling a story and you need some aerial shots and there's some online, I don't think it's the end of the world to use stock footage. But when will we buy a new one? We don't know. Will we buy a new one? Yes. We gotta save money from all the donations. We gotta save. Oh yeah, no surveillance today. We're saving money for uh, for DJI equipment. Although this gimbal I'm using is is changing my life right now. I can jog; it's so smooth. Look at this. Maybe we'll buy one of these. This is quite fun. And shout out to 380 people in the chat. Doing great over here. Thank you guys for joining. Thanks for joining our live stream. We're just gonna try to hang out with you. The idea of the live stream is just to hang out with you guys once a week so we can see what you guys like to like to see us do because we realized Ivana and I realized we had a profound realization that the most important thing is what topic you choose to cover the most important thing is choosing a topic that the audience actually wants to see if you do a great job of a video that nobody wants to see it's uh, it's not gonna do very well so this is why we want to hang out with you once a week oh, oh this is a double now where I come from where I come from if you see this car, this so you cool. punch your friend twice, right? <laughs> once well, it's called once it's called yellow car, no punchbacks, and once it's called punch buggy. Okay. So a yellow punch buggy, that's a double punch yellow right there. Yellow car in front of a yellow building. In front that of a yellow building. So picturesque. Wow, <laughs> dude. That's a good placement. Super yeah. nice. Super nice. I tell you, in Brazil, everything is beautiful. Coming up on the market there. Oh, yeah. Okay, just up here we have the market. We'll hang out with you guys a bit here. And then uh, we'll see what we do. Oh, Just Me is asking about the return policy for the drones in Brazil. The problem is we bought that drone in... Do you know where we bought it, babe? Albania. Oh, we bought that drone in Albania because I crashed it into a lake. <laughs> Previous one took our swim. Komani Lake? Probably? Yeah, Komani Lake yeah. has one of our drones swimming in it. And uh, San Antonio de Lisbon has one of our drones uh, sleeping in a tree. So, shout out to me, worst pilot ever. Okay, my new song, now that I'm in Rio and cheering for Flamengo, is the Samba. That Hug by Tim Maia. Aquel Abrazo. Okay, I will look into it. Uh, Tim is like one of our best uh, Oh, really? Ching Maia, you do have to listen to him. Okay. Best. Top, yes. top Brazilian artist. Top Brazilian. He's, he's been dead for a while. Will you go to Maracana? Uh, we want to, but unfortunately, it seems to be closed for some reason. Uh, so the Fla Flu game is going to be in Brasilia, which is heartbreaking. If we could do Fla Flu in Maracana, we would do that 10 times out of 10. That would be a dream come true. But uh, we will do our best to see a Flamengo game. 
now that Ivana is cheering for Flamengo. Um, but we don't know where. We simply do not know where. Vasco is better than Palmeiras. I don't know about all that. Although we did meet a super nice guy who was a Vasco fan the other day. And Ivana was wearing her Flamengo jersey. And uh, oh, look at the size of that tree, no? Falling fruit. Falling fruit. Watch your head. Oh, geez. Falling fruit from trees. They say Rio is not safe. They're right. You might get hit by fruit <laughs> in the head. Look, all on the ground. Oh, mask on in the, in the market? Maybe. Okay, mask up. We get a mask up. So if you hear my audio get a little muffled, that's just uh, life. Life for the COVID-19 vlogger. Pastel, pastel, pastel. Okay, lots of uh, stuff here. Onion. Sounds lively. Sounds like there's lots of action. Bacalhau over here. Lots of fruits. Super nice, no? La, 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 la. Yo, this gimbal is really top quality. I love it. Look over there. Ooh. Look over there. Ooh. Yvonne, are you hungry? Thirsty? Holy jumping. Look at the size of that fish. Big fish. Big fish, no? Oh, some camarones. I love a camarón. I do love a camarón. What's over here? Oh, yeah. Palm heart. No, I didn't put it. It didn't land. It didn't land. It didn't, huh? land. It didn't look good. It was a good joke, but the way I delivered it, it didn't land. Uh, Art had a great joke the other day. Because you saw us eat the palm heart in, uh, in the boat tour. You asked to go on a boat. And then two days later, we lost the drone in a palm tree. So the idea was we ate the palm's heart. And so it took our drone. It was retribution for our for our eating of its heart. It's a good joke. Oh man, this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. What's this? It's cinnamon, no? No, not cinnamon. No. Chocolate. It's like ice cream cone. Uh, it's waffle. Like chocolate like uh, waffles. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, what are your me a... Free sample. Uh, free sample. Free sample. Obrigado. Tengo coconut. Coconut biscuit. Obrigado. Muito bom. Good one, Ivana. You nailed it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fixed it. People are recommending pastel. The whole chat is blowing up with pastel, pastel, pastel. Oh, garlic. Lots of good stuff over here, man. Cool market. Like caramel squares up on top. Oh, art is saying this one super yummy. There's gelechi, it looks like gelechi from Minas. Uh, cube, it's like just a caramel cube kind of guava cheese, Guayabada. It's like peanut buttery sweets. It's quite good looking, no? 
Oh, don't say that's eating chocolate. Oh, it's probably so good. You cut a little piece. A banana. What this? Banana. Oh. I will say this. Shout out to Dolce Dolce de Leche. Which is this Dolce de Leche. It's like so simple ingredients and it's so good. Coconut. That can't be a real coconut. What's happening here? This is coconut pot, no? Oh, it's a planter. Looks like a coconut. It's cool. It's have one. These are little pots you can get that look like coconuts. Which is quite cool. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Cool little market here. I mean, it's Sunday market. Relatively small. I think it's just one circle. Goes over here and comes over there. Sort of just a circle. And it's nice. Fantastic. Sure, yeah, let's go back. That would be great. So we did one lap, no? We did a whole circle. That was a nice little that was a nice little market to check out. Oh, good good job. Hey Art, you should be a vlogger, man. Look at this. This is the cable car up there. It's moving right now. You see it? It's going slowly. Oh, oh zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, cable car, sugar loaf. Sugar loaf. Stay tuned for a vlog. We'll go up to sugar loaf, I'm sure, eventually. Oof. Antonio Costa says, I don't think there will be enough time for all the good vlog opportunities Rio has to offer. I think you're right. So many things. I think it's true that there's more to do here than can ever be done. It's a circle of life. No, um, I think there's lots to do in Rio. But the thing is, we will be coming back to Brazil many times because it's so big and there's so many states. And so it's sort of nice to leave some things unfinished. It's not like a small country where you can do most of it in a month or two. That's uh, right. You need some years to see all of Brazil. That's true. So if we miss parts of Rio, no problemo. Right. Really, what we're doing is uh, the story of our friends. We are following our friends. <laughs> hey, I've lived in Brazil for 25 years of my life, and even I have not been to the Amazon or many other places. So. Same. I lived in Canada for 27 years, and uh, I haven't seen the East Coast at all. It's too big. <laughs> Too much to see. More to do than can ever be done. It's the circle of life. Wow, guys, what a nice live stream today. And I tell you what, Ivano, we gotta buy this gimbal. Let me let me ask you guys a question who are watching. Uh, do you guys notice it's much more smooth? Because usually we just have a tripod and it's quite shaky. But I wanna I wanna see if you guys can notice it's much more smooth because if it's worth it. Uh, maybe we'll buy a gimbal for the live streams. It's only one, it's quite cheap, like less than 100 bucks. No! Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speak slowly and clearly into the camera. How much does this gimbal cost? I think it costs like $80 or something. This gimbal costs $80. Maybe. If I'm not mistaken. Listen, I'll give you 40 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, if it's less than 100 we certainly buy it. In my head, I had it as $500. No way, no way. Uh, you know I can't afford that. <laughs> the gimbal has got to be worth it for 100 bucks, Ivana, to make our live streams better yeah. because... I think you're also walking slowly with this, <laughs> somehow. I'm walking more slowly, right? Yeah. yeah it's like you can... It's actually made me more it's... calm. Yeah, sometimes Which... on normal live stream, you're like... <laughs> That's my normal life, Ivana. We've been looking for something to make me walk slow for 31 years. The gimbal... The gimbal is the, the magical ADHD cure. It's the circle of life. Okay, we're back to the street. Um, fantastic. The gimbal is nice, although the internet quality is not that good. Uh, it's like double what I said. It's like oh, 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 we got a question. We got a question here. 
If it's too personal, you can choose to pass. It says, is Art looking for some romantic love? <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh, it's a name. H-H. The name is genderless, so I don't know who it is. All right. Well, how about this H-B-B? Go on Gringo Nation, leave me a comment, and we'll take it from there. Matchmaker. <laughs> but the short answer is yes. The short answer oh, is yes. Oh, the short answer is yes. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle. If you if you fall in love and have babies with someone that you met on our live stream, you're gonna owe me this gimbal. <laughs> wow, selling my romantic life for 150 dollars. What'd you say the price was? About twice what you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ivana, for 150, I think we gotta buy it because it's gonna it's gonna make our live stream so much more uh, watchable, you know. Okay, okay, now the whole chat is talking about art being good looking, and you know what, guys? <laughs> I want to tell you something. I'm standing right here, okay, guys. You know. You know, I'm gonna get hair plugs. I'm gonna get hair plugs, and I'm gonna get good looking too. Okay. Hey, you can see more of him on his channel, so yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Green yeah. Donation. He's gonna do some uh, uh, swimsuit modeling on his channel. He's got a he's got a top swimsuit of 2022. Maybe I take the channel in a different direction. <laughs> you know, too bad I'm, I'm almost. Members uh, only. Members only. Only fans. Only. only fans. Yeah, Gringo Nation only fans. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, that's a riot. Okay, guys, you want to keep the live stream going? I think we're pretty good. We've done an hour. Maybe we'll walk all the way back. Yeah, and then go get some drinks or something. Okay, we'll go for another walk here. Uh, people are saying if I wear a flamingo shirt, I'll get a lot more subscribers. In the next video coming on Tuesday, which, by the way, guys, please watch the video on Tuesday because I think it's really good. We took a tour around the largest favela in Rio. It's called Rocinha Favela. We went all around, and in the favela, Ivana bought... A flamingo jersey so it's a hey, shout out to Shirley Harold Steve you're very cute too Boomba. one for the good guys thanks Shirley but um, the video on Tuesday I think you guys will really like and Ivana will be wearing a flamingo jersey uh, much to my dismay for some reason, I have it in my head that. Uh, hey, I still like pick, Palmeiras. You That's my Sao Paulo team. I'm telling you, but you in can't. Rio, we got to be Flamingo. I'm not convinced you should have a team in every state. I think you should have one team. You got, I, I, you I got do. A team in every country. I do team in every country, though, because clearly I'm wearing the Albanian national jersey right now. <laughs> well, it's a national. Which is not national, it's different, right? It's not a club team, right? But uh, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our live stream. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. We won't miss your vlog on Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Thanks to Ronnie Co, loyal supporter from almost day one on, on Jelly Warriors. Uh, really appreciate it. Hola. Super nice guys, fishermen. Super nice walk. Got some nice uh, music behind us. Oh, the view this way is really nice. Really, really nice. Super nice, right? It's a circle of life. All right, let's get a discussion in the chat. Best Disney movie. Gotta be Lion King. What do you think? Or oh, maybe Toy Story. Ooh, favorite. Aladdin is your favorite Disney movie? What is your favorite Disney movie? This is important. This is important. I'm gonna go Lion King. With an honorable mention, Toy Story. Best. Yeah, it's gotta be the classic. Yeah, it's gotta be a classic. Toy Story doesn't count. Toy Story is a bit too modern, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with Lion King. I'm gonna go with Aladdin. Aladdin? Yeah. Good movie. What do you got? Robin Williams. Cinderella? Not bad. Let us know in the chat. Sorry there. Uh, favorite Disney movie. A bit off topic, but it's it's. I've been singing that song from Lion King. Yeah. That's why I got it in my head. John. Elton John. What is it with the car matching the building? Eh? <laughs> car matching the building. Yeah, green and green. Yeah. Yo, what a nice little shot right here, Ivana. This place looks very peaceful and quiet. Nice place for a stroll, says Ronnie Cole. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We had an idea, Yvonne and I, of going to some market or something. And trustee Art from Gringo Nation said, if you're doing a live stream, I got a better spot for you. Oh, look at this airplane with Christ the Redeemer in there. Dude, I'm vlogging right now. Dude, cue the music. Hello. 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 <laughs> I 
don't think they can see you. So there were a lot of votes. There were a lot of votes for Shrek. Yeah, but it's too modern. Too modern. Same like Toy Story. Yeah. Great movie, but it just doesn't quite fit it, the. Uh... If it's not hand drawn, then it doesn't count. Right. He's right. Smart guy. He's right. Lovely walk over here. Jungle Book. That's a pretty good movie. Just the bare necessities, the simple dun -dun recipes. Nice houses over here, man. I guess Portuguese style. <laughs> my mom in the chat saying she's not sure about my sound effects for the plane. <laughs> she goes, ah, I'm not sure about the sound effects, buddy. <laughs> mom. Yeah, mom. Diane. Diane. My mom. Shout out to my mom, you know? Loyal viewer. Loyal viewer. Hasn't missed a vlog since three years ago, I don't think. <laughs> Commented on every video from 600 vlogs ago. Shout out to my mom. Uh, I love these live streams. It really helps us get an idea of what you guys are interested in seeing because uh, it's important to make videos for your audience rather than just make videos uh, is what Yvonne and I have learned. So as per usual, let us know what you'd like to see us do because we will listen. Oh, that's cool. It's a lady on a kayak with a dog. Oh, nice dog. Cool. Shout out to her. Okay, here we go. Important comment here from Aeon. It says, Steve, pay attention. It says, the right thing to say is balocha. Never say biscoito. Oh, bolacha. Bolacha. Well, it's because in Sao Paulo they say biscoito. And ah. Are you bolacha. are you team biscoito or team balocha? I'm a, I'm a Paulistano, so of course I say biscoito. Biscoito. Yeah. Uh, if I chose my team to be Palmeiras, Maybe I'll choose my pronunciation to be real. So I got one oh, I foot see. on each side of the fence. So I'm going to be a balocha man myself. You really want to live on top of the fence your whole life? Listen, that, this, that you get a good view from on top of the fence, okay? <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> well, the thing is, biscoito and bolacha is like, in Sao Paulo, if I'm not mistaken, one is savory and one is sweet, so we still say both, but... Ah. Uh, yeah. Now, for me, I'm a... I'm a it's balocha or bolocha? Bolacha. Bolacha. Yeah, Bolasha. Of course, Bolasha. I've been saying it that way my whole life, actually. I like how, they, how, they, how they said very important. Yeah, he said, Steve, pay attention. <laughs> he said, Steve. <laughs> exactly. Steve, pay attention. <laughs> very funny. Uh, okay, I'm going to say Bolasha for me. Oh, oh, people are now... Oh, thank you for that comment, because now we got a, we got a, a chat storm happening. <laughs> we got a comment storm, people saying. It's written right on the package, Biscoito. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Bolasha. Oh, new member. New member. Shout out to, uh, I will pronounce this wrong. I'm going to say it is. Dun, 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 dun. What am I doing? I got to click on this. Yo, what's up with this? Oh, click over here. Figured it out. Who's old now? Uh, shout out to. Okay, hold on. Be smart about this. Quest and then O with an accent ES. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. The O is like a. Mm, so it's like a. No, 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 Quest West. No, we want a Quest West. It's like portions. It's questions. International questions. Not, yeah, not exactly questions. Uh, Question. Quest. Like qu thoughts. Quest. Kind of. Thoughts. How do you, how do you pronounce yeah. it? Questions. Questions. I was never going to get that. Yeah. You want to just <laughs> test pressing this button here? See if it switches on its own. Oh. Uh, Wait, switch this? It would switch to the other side. No. Sometimes oh, that would be sweet if I did that. Sometimes when you're vlogging, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh. Anyway, uh, big shout out to Questoings. Questoings is nice, you know? You can also say molha, molha or biscoito. Molha. Mol, molia. Moliar. <laughs> M-O-L-H-A-R. Let me say, let me say. <laughs> Moliar or biscuit. <laughs> that that mean? means like... Uh, Mother of know, biscuits. No, it means a bang. Oh, I mean, so you're dipping the biscuit in the. Uh... <laughs> oh, very racy comments. <laughs> well, thanks for joining our members anyway. Uh, we do appreciate it, and we will be trying to get to know more about you, where you're from, and stuff. We'll write you some comments, we'll apply to your comments, and we can be internet buddies. Hey! I think we're gonna buy a gimbal, babe. This is pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, Airton, 
Uh, Parque, Parque Laje is a public park in the city of Rio and its cafe is open to the public. Uh, the mansion was notably featured in 2003 music video for Beautiful, which is what you told me earlier. Beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Oh yeah, there's something no. about you. Beautiful, oh, which one? I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Oh yeah, there's something about you. Oh yeah, there's something about you. Okay, okay, music video, music video, be honest. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Oh, yeah, there's something about you. I know you're going to do it. Snoop, snoop it. Uh, thank you for joining the new member. Thank you for the comment. Uh, Ayrton, we will be going to park. Uh, Parque Laje. I will be going. Wait, wait, wait. This is a lie. He says the house owned by this right here is Justin Bieber. I don't think so. <laughs> I think, oh, I'm, I think I'm falling for a... Uh, I think he means one in the area. One of these houses is only Justin Bieber. Okay, possibly true. Oh, he must have like 30 houses. So yeah. He'd have one here. Of course. Fair. Fair. Fun fact, when uh, Bieber was in Brazil, he threw a party, but he asks all the guests to leave their cell phones at the door or whatever. And yeah. Some girl snuck her cell phone in, and she took a picture of uh, Bieber sleeping on his hotel bed. So she was just some random Brazilian girl. The problems of famous people. If I was that famous, I'd probably do the same thing with the cell phones because everyone's trying to catch you doing, you know, everyone's trying to yeah, of course. make a video of you and extort you for 100 grand. Exactly. This is life. Shout out to Justin Bieber, most famous Canadian, I think, right now. It's not like, uh, what is it, Jewish? Uh, oh, this writing here? Good question, maybe you guys know. This word, anybody know the font here? Is this uh, Hebrew? Hebrew. Sure it's Hebrew. Hebrew, maybe right. Anybody knows what that says? Maybe it says uh, cerveja, por favor. <laughs> Free beer tomorrow, it says. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> Wait a second, he wrote it today? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's long gone. But... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Hebrew. They're saying it's Hebrew. So this is a Jewish guy. Cool. Uh, okay, Justin Bieber, Carly Rae Jepsen, or Celine Dion? Oh, gosh. Who's Carly Rae Jepsen? Is that Kami Maybe? Uh, I'll go Kami Maybe. Canadian, right? Canadian, yeah. Oh, right, because they're all Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go with Bieber, I guess. Bieber? Yeah. I think the music is quite, is quite popular, obviously, but I never really heard much of it. I never really followed. It's getting better, you know? Yeah. The problem with the new music is it's got no soul, man. You know? Got no soul. Got no soul, man. Actually, this place is starting to get more busy. I think we came too early, but that's my style because it, I don't like to stay out late. Start early, finish early, sleep in. -na -na. Oh, here we go. More arguments of the biscoito and the and the and the bolacha. Me, I'm a bol I'm a bolacha man myself. Do a video about biscoito or bolacha. Brazilian uh, Biscuit Wow, I love these live streams, guys. And I really love this gimbal, to be honest. I know I talked about it too much already, but the gimbal is sweet. Lannis Morris said. If you miss seeing gringos, I know some guys who play cricket on Lagoa every Sunday, 4 p.m. I've never played cricket in my life. You played cricket before? Is it maybe like a washer that you gotta saw like Bosha. What's Bosha? Well, you guys saw the, the ball. Video the like curling. Oh, uh, lawn, uh, they were playing. Uh, I think it's called Bosha. Yes, yeah. in English, Bocci. Bocci yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I just couldn't think of it because my brain is slow. Slow motion over here. Da -na 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 -na. Not Bosha, like baseball. No, he really means cricket. He's saying they're playing cricket every Sunday. Uh, not today for us because I think we'll be done the live stream relatively soon. But uh, it's getting windy. I think it's going to rain pretty good soon. And with this cell phone and gimbal combination, it might not be the uh, best time to be live streaming. But thank you for the suggestion. Quest, uh, quest, quest. 
Kess, Kess, Kess Stoings. Internationales. Uh, my pronunciation, you know what's funny? I lived in a world where I was good at pronouncing different languages. I really lived in that world. And <laughs> when? I came, and then oh. when oh. Cut me deep. <laughs> and then I came to Brazil and we started doing the pronunciation challenge and I lost every time by a lot. <laughs> ah, Ivana, the heart is broken. I think you are associating Portuguese pronunciation closer to Spanish or something. Or I French. think anytime I'm doing a different language, I do a natural so, Italian kind of. Yeah. I just, that's like the only. That's true. Uh, like foreign different. language, I just do. Hey, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I just do that kind of. Yeah. I just do that kind of sound effect for every different language, and it's just wrong more than it's right. Is the problem? You even yeah. said Ciao Bella at the end of your last vlog. Yeah, the last vlog I said Ciao Bella. <laughs> and I thought I was speaking Portuguese. I go, man, I'm so local. Ciao Bella, I'm the best. Wrong language. Although you guys say Ciao. We do. It's spelled although, differently. Although a lot of countries say Ciao, even non. But in Italian, you say Ciao for hello and goodbye. Here, just for goodbye. Just for goodbye. Ciao Ciao Bella. Ciao, ciao, obrigado. Oh, we're back to our little beach here. Yeah. Yes, super windy. Can you do skinny dipping? No. <laughs> you did already. Although I did, actually. You're Good point. I am capable of it, but not today. Super nice place here. Woo. There you have it. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end the live stream. Is it okay with you, Ivana? Yeah. Anything more you want to add? Uh, thank you guys for joining us all. How many people do we got? 411. More, more than 400 people on the chat. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for your super chats. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the love. Uh, the Keep purpose. Watching us. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, by the way. Mm oh, there's a button we can click for the chat will be only subscribers. Should have done that. Should have done that. I forgot. Yeah, but next time we'll do that. Please. And so please subscribe. And so the purpose of these live streams is for you guys to let us know what videos you want to see us make because we are more than willing to. In fact, we really want to make stuff you want to see. So I think this live stream served its purpose because we got some good ideas yes. and, and made some plans with art, which is pretty exciting. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. Uh, one love. Uh, Samba is the best. Is it raining on me or am I on dope? Yeah. Something's happening over here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video on Tuesday, which is a really good video from the largest favela in Rio called Favela Rocinha. We went around, we met locals, we ate feijoada again, we ate some fruits, we tried cachaza, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We were on a motorcycle in the favela, like So please watch the video on Tuesday. Love you guys. Thanks. Later, skaters.